Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the titles that I picked up during the month of October, so stick around. So man, October was a huge month, a lot of releases, a lot of exclusives, a lot of still books, a lot of 4K releases. It's probably one of the busiest months that I've had as far as purchases um, in the past year. So I'm going to take time today to show you all the ones that I picked up. So first up we have Scream 3 with a slipcover release. Really love the slip on this. And then we also got a still book release with this nice red um, background. We finally see the release of Prey. Really nice looking 4K slipcover edition. And also a great still book that sold out pretty quickly. We also got the Mist on 4K with this amazing looking slip. And we got a Best Buy exclusive Steelbook release. And then we got the release for Evil Dead Rise for a Steelbook. Really enjoyed this movie, so happy to have that. We got Ip Man Steelbook release on Blu ray. And then we have some Universal Monster um, titles that were released during this month. We have The Bride of Frankenstein with a slip, Creature from the Black Lagoon. The Mummy and Phantom of the Opera. Okay, we also saw the release of Talk to Me. This right here was a great film. I got the Blu ray release. Um, I believe this is the Walmart exclusive with a slipcover. And then we got the Amazon exclusive with a lenticular slipcover. And we got the 4K release and also the Blu ray release with the same artwork. And I also got the Talk to Me Steelbook release, which is great to have. Um, from the UK, I did get a few titles. I got the 4K release for The Pianist with a slip. And also I got The Others um, with a slip cover. Really love this movie and love the artwork on this. We did get four new Disney 100 Steelbook releases. All right here. <clears throat> We've got Moana. We have The Little Mermaid. We have The Lion King. And also we've got the um, Aladdin release, which is great. We got this film called Creepy Crawly, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet. Then we got the release for Demons, Demons 2 and Demons 3 all um, on Blu-ray, except for Demons is a 4K release. Then we got It Came From Outer Space with a slipcover for the 4K release. And also we got this Ultimate Collection release with a box um, from the UK. And then we got a new John Travolta release called Mobland. And it comes in a DVD sized case with a slip, which I've been seeing a lot. Well, I say a lot. I've been seeing a few of these kind of titles being released um, from Lionsgate with a DVD size, which I hope doesn't become the norm. Okay, for week two, we've got Sanctified, a regular Blu-ray release that I have never seen. But I love a good Western. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. We got the release of Yellow Jacket Season 2, a DVD with a slipcover, which I, I selected the DVD because um, most of my um, TV shows are on DVD, and if it comes with a slip, I prefer the slip. Um, from the UK, we got Cry the Beloved Country with a slip. We've got Medusa Deluxe from Mubi. We got the House by the Cemetery 4K release um, with a hard box. Um, this right here is from Arrow, so very happy to have that. We got Wallace and Gromit, the complete cracking collection with a slip. We've got The Boogeyman, which I still need to check out. We got the 4K release for A Bronx Tale. And then the final Disney 100 Steelbook release from Best Buy, and that's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then we got this beautiful slipcover edition for the 4K release. We have the release of Rosemary's Baby on 4K. Then we got Friday the 13th Steelbook release with the slip. We have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey on the Blu-ray Steelbook release. We also got Jeepers Creepers on Reborn with the Steelbook and Terrifier 2 with a still book. We've got Pumpkinhead with a slip for the 4K release and a beautiful looking Best Buy exclusive still book. Love the artwork on that. We've got Megan, 
um, the 4K with a slip. We also have Megan, the Best Buy exclusive um, still book, which I love the artwork on. And we also have the UK release with this lenticular, um, which I think looks pretty cool. Comes with all these contents, so very happy to have that. We also have the release of Transformers Rise of the Beast with the 4K slip. And then we have the Blu-ray edition with the slip. And we also got Transformers Rise of the Beast with a still book. Beautiful looking artwork there. And then from Radiance, we got The Dead Mother. Then we got Jackie Brown, Blu-ray release with a slip. Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2 with a slip. We got Strays with a slip cover. And we got The Last Blood. This right here is from 88 Films with a slip. So that's great to have those. Also during the second week, I got the Halloween Trilogy Steelbook Collection. Um, I chose the UK edition because it came with art cards. So very happy to have this one in the collection. Okay, for the third week, this was a humongous week. We got this big box set for the complete series for The Walking Dead. Um, I did follow the series throughout as it was airing live, so it was nice to be able to get a complete box set for that. We also got the complete series for He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, um, the reboot that they did. Um, I got season one of Rabbit Hole, um, starring Kiefer Sutherland. I got the DVD release because of the slip. I also got the John Wick collection. Um, this right here is a Blu-ray release with all the John Wick films so far. Um, we got Aquaman 4K Steelbook. We got Zack Snyder's Justice League Steelbook. Then we got the um, I got the Man Behind the Sun Laboratory of the Devil and um, A Narrow Escape uh, Man Behind the Sun 3. I got Mortal Kombat Legends Blu-ray release. Um, this is Cage Match. I got The Innocent. I want to check that one out. I got RoboDoc with a slip. Um, from Criterion Collection, I got EO. The 4K release for The Way We Were. I still need to watch that. From Keno Lorber, I got The Best of Times. Um, starring Robin Williams and Kurt Russell. Um, from Arrow, I got The Desperate Hours with a slip. Then we had the big release for Disney's The Haunted Mansion. I got the Blu-ray release with a slip, the 4K release with a slip. I got the Walmart exclusive with a slip and a pen. Then I got this beautiful Best Buy exclusive 4K still book, which I really love the artwork on that. Then we got this beautiful still book from Best Buy for the Wicker Man on 4K. I got The Last Voyage of the Dementor with a slip. I got um, the Blob release on um, Best Buy Exclusive Still Book. And I got the release 4K Still Book with, I'm sorry, the 4K release from Screen Factory with a slip. And also the alternative slip with a different artwork. And then I got this double pack for Double Danger 2 movie collection. It has Waist Deep and the um, Drop Squad releases. From Criterion Collection, I got Freaks. Then we had the big release for Barbie. I got the 4K release with this glittery looking slip. Then just the standard Blu ray release with a slip. And this um, still book release from the UK since we didn't get a uh, still book release here in the States. I also got Shrek with a slip. Delicatessen with a slip. I also got Breaking the Waves with a slip. Then we got this nice release um, Grindhouse with a lenticular box set. And we also got Drag Me to Hell with the box set with the lenticular and Memento, which is a great release. This right here is another 101 Films Black Label release, and this has a still book included. And also during the third week, I got the Stephen King collection. This right here is from Australia. It has all of these films on Blu-ray, which some of these 
I don't have in the collection, so it was very nice to be able to get this hard box set, so very happy to have that. And also from the third week, we got the Large Von Trier um, box set. This is a Curzon collection. Very happy to have this. I, I do love the releases that they do for these. Um, it, it contains all of these films with it and a lot of extras. So very happy to have that in the collection. Okay, during week four, I got the Tossic Avenger collection. Um, the box set with all the 4K releases. I've never seen any of these films, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out. I got the Hannibal um, box set from the UK with a still book. And I got um, the Orphanage box set from Imprint Films. And I also got, um, from Indicator, I got the Universal Noir number two release with this really nice box set. So very happy to have those. Um, also during that week, I got um, Visible Secret from Radiance Films. And I got Four Bullets for Joe. I need to check this one out. This is an MVD classic. I got Caddy Hack with a slip. I got Le Maprise Contempt. I also got Vampires and Other Stereotypes um, from Visual Vengeance. And I got Lycan Colony from Visual Vengeance. I got Tombs of the uh, Tombs of the Blind Dead. I also got Dead Girl with a slip and Vile with a slip. I got um, Iron Warrior. This right here is from 88 Films. I got Bug. This is another imprint title. Um, from Warner Archive, I got Before Night Falls, which I want to check out. From Arrow, I got The Iron Fisted Monk. And then Kino Lorber's put out a new line called Kino Cult. Um, number one is Lorna the Exorcist. Number two is Alien Outlaw. And number three is The Dark Power. They all come with slips. And then some other Kino Lorber titles. We have Black Sabbath. Um, this right here is a new release with a slip. And we also got um, It, The Terror from Beyond Space. From Mubi, I got Decision to Leave. And then from Indicator, I got Fascination and Lips of Blood. And we also got a Godzilla Stillbook release, which I'm very happy to have on 4K. And then we had the big release for um, Meg 2, The Trench. I got the Blu-ray release with the slip and the 4K release with the slip. Then I've got the 2-pack with the slip. I got the Best Buy exclusive 4K still book. And also we got a Walmart exclusive still book. And then we have The Boys Season 3 with a slip. I really enjoyed this series, so I'm very happy to have that. And then we got a great release for The Muppets Takes Manhattan with a 4K release with a slip. Very excited to have that one in the collection. And then we have Red Dragon with a slip from Kino Lorber. This is a 4K release. Then we have the release for Cujo on 4K. Love the slip on this. And also we have Messiah, Messiah of Evil um, hard box. From Radiant, so very happy to have that one from week four. Also in week four, we've got the Eureka release here for From Beijing with Love, Beach of the War Gods. We have the Ghost Dog 4K still book, and then also we have the release for Hellraiser 4K release um, box set. Love the artwork on this. And then we also have the store exclusive with the artwork. So very happy to have those in the collection. And then also during the fourth week, we got um, the Paramount Scares release, the 4K release box set. This is volume one. So very happy to have this set. Okay, now for the very final week, the fifth week of October, a lot of other new releases. We got the Jurassic World, the Ultimate Collection Steelbook release. So very happy to have these. Um, this right here was a Best Buy exclusive. And so really nice to have another um, 10 edition added to the collection. And then we had the release for My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Um, I got the collector's edition with a slip. And then I got the three film collection with a slip. We also got this release here. Um, this right here is part two 
um, with a nice looking slip. And then another Lionsgate DVD size release for a Blu-ray. This is the DVD Blu-ray Digital for King of Killers um, with this cast. I've heard some good things about it, but definitely need to check that one out. From Kino Lorber, we got Enter the Ninja with a slip. We have The Challenge, American Ninja, and American Ninja 2. Okay, we also got Schindler's List. This is a Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook for the 30th anniversary. Really beautiful looking steelbook. And I also got the Ultimate Collection box set. And I also got the Animal House Ultimate Collection box set. And then we had some Alfred Hitchcock releases. I got Frenzy, 4K with a slip, Torn Curtain, Topaz, The Man Who Knew Too Much, and Rope. I've never seen any of these films, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking those out. And then that came along with a regular box set, which is also nice to have. So this will be the third box set that we've got for the Alfred Hitchcock collection. I'm assuming that this is probably the final box set. And then from Arrow, we got Witness. Very happy to have this one. I love that film and very happy to have it. And then I got the media book for Limbo on 4K. Um, from Vinegar Syndrome, I got Astrakhan, Sega The Complete History Volume 1, The Hard Part Begins, Pretending I'm a Superman, Ashkow, and then from Third Window Films, I got Door with the slip. Um, from the UK, I got Zombie Holocaust with the slip. From Second Side, I got Chopper. Very happy to have this one. I've never seen that before. I'm looking forward to it. And then I got the Ginger Snaps Trilogy. And from the UK, I got Pandora's Box. This right here is a Eureka release, so very happy to have that. And then we had the release for uh, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I got the 4K release with a slip. And I also got this beautiful looking still book. And then we also had the Blue Beetle release. So I got the 4K release with a slip. I got the Target exclusive with the art cards. I got the Walmart exclusive Steelbook release. And I also got the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook release. So those are all of the films that I picked up during the month of October. Like I said, it was a crazy month. Very glad I was able to pick all of these up. I do wish that they would kind of slow it down a bit on these releases. It is a little bit overwhelming, but it's great for physical media. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular um, haul this month. And also let me, some of the title, let me know some of the titles that you were able to pick up. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.